In this quick demo, I'm going to show you how to get the Air Tool set in Nuke 13.0 working on machines with Ampere graphics cards. To do this, you'll need to set up an environment variable, and I'll demonstrate how to do this on both Linux and Windows before showing you how to compile the GPU kernels in Nuke using the Air nodes. So on Linux, you need to edit the .bashrc file, which is located in your home directory. So using a terminal, navigate to your home directory and type vi.bashrc. Ignore the warning and then press I on the keyboard to enter edit mode. Now start a new line and type the following. CUDA cache max size is the name of the environment variable and the number is the amount of bytes to save to the cache. This value is the maximum of 4 gig, but you can set this accordingly. And you can find this information in the Nuke 13 release notes, so you can copy the environment variable name and the values from there. Hit escape to close the bashrc file, and then press colon to enter write mode. Type wq exclamation point and press enter to write, quit, and overwrite the file. To make sure the bashrc gets loaded, you need to type source.bashrc to load the changes. To double check if it's worked, we can type echo dollar sign, and then the variable name, CUDA cache max size. Press enter and it should return the value. On Windows, navigate to your environment variables, either through the control panel or using the search bar. Click on environment variables and then click new under user variables. You can add this to the system variables instead if you want the environment variable to apply to all users, but you must be an admin to do this. Type the environment variable name and value, so CUDA cache max size and the number of bytes. Again, this information can be found in the release notes. Click OK for all these windows. Once the environment variables are set, you can launch Nuke and use any of the Air nodes along with an input image, such as a checkerboard and upscale node, to compile the GPU kernels. You will need to view the upscale node to begin compiling. If you're using a copycat node, you'll need to start the training to begin the compiling process. And this process may take around 30 minutes but it will only happen once. If you don't set the environment variable, then when you close and reopen Nuke, the kernels will need to compile again and you'll need to wait another 30 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information, head to learn.foundry.com forward slash Nuke.